Good day, and welcome to another unboxing video here at Pips and Chits. Today I will be unboxing Brook City, the core game and the stretch goals. I think uh, I will save the other expansions for a second video, so expect two videos in this series, or at least two. Anyway, Brook City was first uh, on Kickstarter back in May of 2018 and shipped uh, just recently uh, here in April of 2019 to 1,378 backers. It is published by Blacklist Games. The designers are Adam Sadler and Braddy Sadler. And the artist is Henning Ludzvigen. So I apologize if I butchered that name. Uh, ages are for 13 and up. Uh, complexity is uh, uh, probably intermediate to advanced. Uh, it is a game for one to four players. And let me just read you a little bit about this before I get to the box um, itself. It says, a mysterious criminal element has taken root in Brook City, known only as the Syndicate. This collection of ruthless murderers, clever thieves, corrupt politicians, dirty cops has given rise to a new era of crime. The Brook City Police Department needs the best of the best to clean up the streets of this once peaceful metropolis. So here's your gun and badge. Get to work, officer. Okay, I went ahead and flipped the box over here, and uh, what you can see is I took the cellophane off. It was a little bit of glare shooting here in the afternoon uh, was a little bit uh, disruptive here on the camera, so I went ahead and take, took that off. Uh, let's look a little bit more at the back here. The box contents, we have 66 miniatures. That includes eight cops, three suspects, 19 different vehicles. There are 36 crews, uh, crew sculpts in here. That's 12 of three different sculpts. We have a total of 403 cards and 17 card dividers. That's further um, extrapolated to eight cop decks, three case decks, a vehicle deck, a deck, excuse me, an ally and rival cards, three criminal decks, a lead deck, turn cards. There's also a game board in here, and I'm actually kind of sorry I didn't go all in and get the neoprene uh, board. I saw another unboxing video where uh, they had purchased a very slick uh, uh, game board itself that you can see here. Um, and it was about one and a half times the size of the current game board, which made the miniatures look, uh, made the city look a little bit bigger. There was places to put actual cards on there, uh, individual de uh, the, the individual decks itself, and it didn't make the, uh, the board look as crowded as this board might seem. Uh, there's also six dice in here and 190 tokens. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Okay, the first thing I see here is, uh, before I even open the box, is just to take a minute, to, a minute here to admire this uh, the artwork on the front of the box. I mean, uh, wow, you know, it's pretty nice. Uh, I like it. it it's kind of reminiscent of everything 80s cop movies uh, from back in the day, and I'm, I'm pretty excited. I think the one thing that stands out the most is the, the main character here reminds me of Mel Gibson's character. I'm sure that that's uh, what it's taken after from his... Uh, from the series of movies that he did. Uh, and we'll, let's go ahead and just open this right up. A little tight there, move that off to the side. Okay, the first thing we see here. Okay, Brook City looks like something you need to assemble here. Looks like, uh, from what, looks like a little something that might hold cards, probably the individual, uh, you know, there's a lot of cards that come with this game. So I imagine this box here, well, once assembled uh, with the dividers, this is where we're going to store our cards through the various missions. Kind of neat. Uh, I like the artwork all the way around. So let's go ahead and move on. All right. Here is our confidential Brook City rules. Uh, looks like a manila case file here. We have some uh, dice face explanation on the back. Success, a hunch, success and a hunch and a critical. Uh, looks like we have some procedures for an encounter. Um, let's, see. let's open this up. Wow, look at all the miniatures in the background there. Okay, it says one of 18. Here we go, overview and objective. We have the game components. We have the game board, the dice, all the different tokens. We can see uh, some uh, excerpts of cards and uh, some of the different miniatures that we'll be looking at here shortly. Oh, nice. They do a very nice job, it looks like, of pointing out different uh, parts of the card. 
Uh, so we have a whole thing, card breakdowns, one of three. So a lot of detail on these cards here. Um, criminal cards, case cards, kind of a breakdown card name, resistances, location, traits, text. Uh, boy, there looks like all, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Card breakdowns, three of three, lead cards, some additional text. Then we're getting into our different vehicles here. Uh, we have the initial game setup. It looks like here's the board kind of showing you the layout of what it's going to look like. We have uh, street spaces and locations, uh, some, some granular descriptions of how, I guess, uh, you, you can move or how players will move. We have what is a street, what is an intersection, uh, what are spaces, uh, water, uh, actual locations, uh, what is considered adjacent or, or not. Uh, gameplay overview, detailed gameplay. Looks like a lot of reading here, broken up into acts. There's a whole section here on keywords. Encounter procedures, I mean, different phases, uh, uh, crime phase, draw phase, then the criminal turn. Wow, there, this does look like it's pretty involved. I can see why it would be intermediate. Then it's the case turn. So it looks like the hero turn, the villain turn, the case turn. Uh, and then we go to additional rules. There's th we'll be doing stuff with stress, with hunches, leads, uh, resistance, some additional notes on here. More additional rules. We have a thing on vehicles. Uh, what happens in a tie? Running out of cards in the deck. What would happen? Random locations. Uh, some explanation of different tokens here. Uh, Again, lastly, page four of four of the rule of the additional rules section is rivals and allies. I guess how how we those are treated, and uh, some overtime. So here we'll talk about the expansions again. We'll go with that into my second video. But here's some uh, overview of the Delta Keys velocity, the sixth cycle. Um, some oh the the previous Sadler Brothers games, uh, the Street Masters. And uh, oh, look at that, that's pretty funny. One, you got a coupon here for one free donut for new uh, uh, Brook City Police Department recruits. That's that's kind of cute on there. Okay, so now what are we looking at next? Oh, very well done. I like this uh, pack here. It looks like all different miniatures. I'm sorry, well, you know, that might not be good to put it on black. So let's take a look. At some of the miniatures here. Let's see if I can put my hand out in front. I don't know who all these different uh, characters are yet, but uh, your standard they look pretty nice. They're very clean. Might be fun to paint these, especially if if these are crews. Yeah, it looks like it's a lot of the same poses for some of these. So I bet you that's like the villain gang members. Okay, look at this. We have a oh neat. It's even got a clear base on here. For that but it looks like we have a little vespa scooter or moped that's pretty neat looking forward to trying that on the board oh we have a couple of those let's see we have another character a female character it looks like holding a uh, a gun or a, you know an assault rifle Boy, these look like they're going to be pretty easy to paint. Sometimes when you get miniatures, they get so detailed and their poses are so wonky. It's very hard to get your paintbrush into certain grooves and stuff, but that might not look like the case here. Anyway, a really nice done uh, pack of figures. And we'll move that off to the side. I like that it comes with a uh, cover as well. So I guess after you paint them, you can put them back in the box, keep them nice and covered. Uh, that's a bonus. I wish more, more uh, miniature games would do that. Okay, I'm just grabbing this whole stack of uh, punch-out boards here. So it looks like all kinds of... These are double-sided, nice thick cardboard here. Um... You know, I'm sure that I uh, can explain these later, but these syndicate icons. Uh, yeah, I don't know what all these are, so I, I, I won't pretend to know what all these are here. So we got some shields, some briefcases, again, double-sided. Uh, 
We have handcuffs. Looks like I'm assuming some type of health or maybe stamina or even stress level. We have a uh, marked in ones and fives. I would assume five is probably not good. Probably want to avoid that. So that's quite a few tokens there. Oh, and it looks like we have the game board itself. So I'm going to put this aside real quick and let's just open up the game board. Wow, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit this all in, in the camera shot. This is a big board. So, oops, sorry, I just knocked, oh, I got it, I got it upside down anyway. Okay. All right, that is a big board. It's very nice, nice and thick, lays pretty flat already. Looks like we have, uh, some markers around the board, uh, grid system A through T and 1 through 31 up at the top. Here are different locations. Looks like we have a little river, uh, a bridge. Uh, we have some boats over here that are in the harbor. Uh, boy, that looks pretty awesome. Uh, I'm, I can't wait to read more about that. So like I said, the neoprene, which I'm kind of sorry I did not get... <laughs> was uh made this even larger and a place for cards and stuff all right let me bring back with the box and let's look at some more stuff let me move this off to the side so it's not in our way okay well we have four different cop cars i'll just pull one of them out for now and it looks like four different colors here and I assume one for each player. Boy, they're they're nice and heavy. Oh, wow, look at that. There's even detail on the bottom of the car. I don't know if you can see, but you can see, uh, you know, the suspension and, and pipes and, and whatnot underneath that. That's, that's pretty neat that they spent that kind of detail on that. So you have four different cars or colors of the cars. Let's pull out this gray car here. I believe that this one was an unlock. I could be wrong, but uh, this might be Gus's car. Uh, looks like the one that um, was advertised on Kickstarter uh, for, uh, I, I want to say it was uh, Gus Ferguson and his uh, convertible there. Uh, on the bottom of these, just the number, though, there's no additional um, detail there. Let's just check out some of these other ones. Any detail? No, no detail on the bottom of this one, but it looks like we have kind of a, a station wagon. Rails on top. And let's see, we'll take a look at the motorcycles. I, I really dig the fact that they went the extra mile here and put them on clear bases. Uh, that's, boy, that might even be tough to paint. I don't know how I'm going to have to mask that off or take it off first and then reattach, but... I just like the idea that uh, they're on clear uh, acetate bases. That's really neat. Or, but uh, look at that motorcycle. That That's pretty cool. All right. So let's look at some of the boats. Got a... Looks like two different types of boats in here. This looks like kind of like a yacht of some sort. Yeah, there's a yacht. And let's see what do we have here. Oh, oops, I didn't break it, but there's, looks like, look at this, this is kind of neat. This uh, little pontoon or whatever you call it, but there's actually a piece comes off. It looks like you have some detachable stuff on here. And I don't know if that's part of, part of a mission, but it looks like uh, some of these models actually come in two pieces. That's pretty neat. <clears throat> Here's a, another figure. She's all by her lonesome here. I think that's a... Oh, well, maybe that's our main star. I, I, th I mistakenly thought that was a woman at first, uh, maybe because of the hair, but I think that's our Mel Gibson character, whoever the, the lead person is for Brook City. And put him back. We have different colored bases. We have black, blue. There's a, a red base in there as well. We have uh, some custom dice with the different, uh, you know, kind of uh, engraved uh, facings on there. A shield, a critical, a success, 
uh, not quite sure what I named all those other ones off, but uh, here is our little pack of cards. And uh, I'm going to pause this just for a second so I can kind of like slice these open a little bit and take some of the cellophane off so you don't have to watch me struggle with that for each one. We'll go over that. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, and through the magic of pausing technology, I was able to uh, go ahead and remove all the cellophane from the individual card uh, decks in, in the box here. And so I'll pull them out one at a time. I'm assuming that these are, are the dividers that go into the box, uh, the, the box that we need to assemble. So we have a ra Rivals and Allies. Uh, we have Lester Nelson. We have uh, Leeds. Uh, we have Criminal Deck. Let's see, I'll turn that around. That must the Slade Harper is criminal. Maybe I'm not sure if I have these backwards or forwards here. Uh, we have vehicles, uh, different cases, the slain diplomat, shadow theories. Uh, looks like we have some uh, uh, good guys, Selena Gonzalez. We have Wilson Fox, who kind of reminds me of a, an Axel Foley slash. Uh, uh, Will Smith from Bad Boys or, or Eddie Murphy from, uh, uh, you know, tr or the, the Beverly Hills Cop movies. Uh, Guy Ferguson, criminal. Oh, if that's not Guy Fieri from uh, Diver, uh, excuse me, Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, I don't know what is. Uh, we have Ricky Liu. I'm not sure who Ricky is. We got uh, Meryl Jones. Uh, Gabe Fulton, that's I think our main character there. We have another case, Jewel of the City. Uh, Mickey Scott, Moira Banks, and uh, Renee Benson. Uh, those are those dividers there. And in that same well was <clears throat> their cards. So I won't go in. I, you know, I, I notice on all these cards there's like this little... Um, you know, barcode down here. I wonder if that does anything uh, in the game, if that's just aesthetics or if there's something, uh, maybe an app in the future that we can scan, uh, scan cards and maybe something uh, will unlock something or we'll find out some special abilities. That would be, uh, you know, icing on the cake here. Uh, cards are double-sided. Very nice. Nice artwork on here. Uh, we have Meryl Jones, Ricky Liu, Probably they don't look like they're all mixed together here. I mean that they're together. It looks like we'll have to sort these out. Uh, yeah, there's a whole. It seems like all the main characters are kind of mixed in all in here. Oh, some that says leads. Uh, again, more of our main characters, both good and bad. Assuming these look like all the good guys right now. Um, so that was in the first well, but that's that's a lot of cards there. And just a uh, backside here, you know, more more some more specialized artwork. Uh, cool under pressure, stay focused. Obviously, some of them say abilities on that. Some say tactic. We have different uh, conditions or lore on the bottom of them. Uh, here's an encounter. Looks like there's a lot of different things going on with this game. Okay, so I'll move on to the next well. And uh, another large stack of cards. Basically, kind of about as much as the first. These all look like leads. I don't want to turn them over uh, too much. I will, you know, kind of obscure. It looks like there might be details or spoilers there. But uh, criminal deck. So we have some of our criminals. Mickey Scott. There's Guy Fieri again. Um... You know, I'm sure that, uh, yeah, leads. I'm sure that there are things that you'll have to discover throughout the game. Uh, kind of all more of the same, so I don't want to spend too much time on that. I'll put that back in its well. Okay, back to our heroes again. I'm assuming hero again with the barcode. With Here's Renee, there's Moira. Um... Well, it looks like they're just the two in the on this well all together. They're individual cards. Boy, a lot of stuff it looks like here. Okay, and before I put that one back, let's look at the second deck in that well. 
boy this is a this is a large well as well look at the thick car you know a lot of cars there uh looks like cases individual cases uh looks like stats for you know the rivals or criminals uh case turn criminal turn uh this is, wow i don't want to i don't know if those are player aids or or what and I don't, I don't want to spoil it. I'll let you guys discover it on your own if you choose to get it. But man, there are a lot of cards in here. Very excited about that. And our last well. Looks like more heroes. We have our Wilson Fox character. Renee Benson again. More Gabe Fulton. Uh, Lester Nelson. Not quite sure why they're all mixed in like that. But oh, here's our car. We have... The Claxton Compensator. It's a civilian vehicle. And what do we have here? There's our Sur Suburbarado. It's a, a civilian. Kind of reminds me of um, Grand Theft Auto. All the kind of the, the faux names on some of the cars. Uh, the, the models and stuff. Well, let's see. We got a couple other ones in here. Let's see. What do we got here? We got our BCDB Cruiser. Uh, our Dingle Hipper, which I think was the uh, moped I showed you guys earlier. So I won't go back into that. I'll put those back in the well. And we'll finish off here. Uh, let's see. Did I show you this car here? It looks like a little Lamborghini of some sort. I don't know if I showed you that. Anyway, we're clocking in at quite a bit, so I, you know what, I might actually break this video up into uh, a third video, and so maybe the second video will be the Kickstarter exclusives. Uh, that will be definitely a lot shorter, because the box is a lot smaller. I just don't want to overwhelm you with everything uh, right now. I'm clocking in at probably close to a half hour at this point, and I haven't even got to the, uh, the Kickstarter exclusive box. So why don't I go ahead and end this video. Let's call this part one for right now. And uh, we'll see you at part two when we open up the uh, Kickstarter exclusive box. And then part three, we'll talk about some of the expansions. Once again, thank you for watching this unboxing of uh, Brooks City uh, by Blacklist Games. This is the Pips and Chits channel. Go ahead if you subscribe. Give me your comments. Tell me how I can improve. I'm kind of new at this game here. Uh, as far as uh, producing videos, uh, shooting on my actual Samsung uh, phone. Uh, any pointers you guys can give me, what you like, what you don't like. I know I tend to talk a lot. Uh, I'll try to cut that down in future episodes too and get right to the meat of the matter. But once again, thank you very much and I'll see you next time.